Hello, welcome to the Cater 26 What's New in Cater video. I will walk you through the major enhancements for Cater 26. Here is the new splash screen. If you would like your company to be featured on the Cater 27 splash screen, please email us at cadra underscore beta at mentor.com. We have introduced a new ribbon graphical user interface. You will see the new ribbon interface when you open up Cater for the first time. We have tried very hard to make the transition between the Windows interface and the new ribbon interface easy for you. When you first open it up, you'll see the tabs along the top. The first tab is the Home tab. This has your edit tools, your viewing tools, and your functions. The second tab is Edit. Again, you have your edit tools and your OLE tools. Under the View tab, you have all your viewing icons, your layer parents such as Active Layer, Line of Change, and Layer Change. You also have your windowing tools, your corner window, split vertical, split horizontal. Under the setting tab, you have change your layers, colors, text fonts, line fonts, dimension style, your translator options, your parameters, mouse, and your save profile. Under miscellaneous, you have your button activate on press, scroll bars on and off, your menu list, your view settings, this is where you would save settings now and reset to registries. You also have your status bar, whether you want a four or three bar layout, if you want to shut off certain status bars, and your license release. You have your toggles, such as Insight Toggle and Multi-View Toggle, and your grid. Under the Tools tab, you have Cadre NC, Cadre Programming, Auto Geometry, your annotations for documentation, your add-on tools such as Cadre EDM, Cadre Lib, Cadre Bomb, and your link to the Trace Parts library on the web. And you have your animation tools. Under the Help tab, you have your Cadre Manual. Cadre on the web will take you right to the web page. Help Support takes you to Support Center. And About Cadre tells you what release of Cadre you are running. What's new? will take you directly to the Recader 26 release notes and release highlights and the what's new video will take you to this video. We have added the ability to have five custom line widths instead of one. So if you select line fonts, you will see once you select width that you now have a pull down with widths one through five. You would access width one and you would key in in the width area the size that you want. Then you would pick width 2, key in the size you want, etc. from 1 through 5. To get to your new widths, you would select Appearance, Width, and you'll see the new list of widths 1 through 5. We have also added the new widths under Info. So if you select Info and select one of your width lines, it comes up and tells you which width it is and the width thickness. We also have the ability to save the current drawing once you get an internal software failure. This feature provides you with the opportunity to save the current file when one of the following internal software errors occurs. Along with reporting the internal software failure, you can now create a log file of the actions that you were doing before you created the error. The following types of internal software failures that will be reported are segment violation, interrupt, illegal instruction, floating point exception, kill termination, control break sequence, and abort call termination. This feature is enabled by setting the following in the Cater INI file under the Cater section. Troubleshoot underscore internal underscore error underscore dialog equals one. When a software failure occurs, now the following error dialog is displayed, which gives you the option to save to the current drawing before exiting. If you choose yes, the following save as dialog allows you to specify the how and where to save the current file. 
As I mentioned before, you can now create a log file to record your actions. To do so, open a command prompt and type in kdra space minus a space file dot log. And you can see from the example below that it will log the user's actions. In this case, the user was in the circle command and locating and it, they got the internal software failure. We have added the ability to print out a PDF-A. PDF-A is an ISO standardized version of PDF, specialized for the use of archiving of documents. PDF-A format differs from PDF by prohibiting features unsuitable for long-term archiving, such as font linking and encryption. To get to this, open the plot window, select plotter type PDF format, select plotter setup, and you will see the output as PDF A format. When you read a cater file that has output as PDF format checked, you will see the below informational bar when you read it into a PDF software, such as Adobe. We have made enhancements to our DXF DWG translator. The DXF DW translator now handles the custom dimension arrow size that was introduced in Cadre 25 and the four new line widths that were introduced in Cadre 26. We have added a new DXF DWG write option called Blank Entities Written. When it is enabled, blank entities, including blank views, will be written out to the DXF DWG file on a frozen layer. When the option is disabled, blank entities and views will not be written out to the drawing. In the Windows and Ribbon GUI, this option is given in the DXF DWG Write tab of the Translator dialog. When you read the file that has blank entities written enabled into AutoCAD and you select the layer management, you can see that the layer is frozen. If you unfreeze it, all the blanked geometry now shows in your AutoCAD drawing. We have added three variables to the Cater INI file if you choose to use them. One is prevent underscore toolbar underscore movement equals one. This disables the accidental movement of the toolbars displayed in the Windows graphical user interface. In the Cater INI file, Cater underscore GUI equals zero. We've talked about the troubleshooting the internal error dialog, and we have added suppress save as on exit. This suppresses the prompt to save a modified database upon exiting Cater. We have made installation enhancements to the MIP batch tool. We have added dash batch, dash target, and dash dongle. Dash batch performs a cater installation in batch mode for product set specified in the file to the lake location set in the file. File is a dot bat file generated using the mentor install program batch tool. The user specifies which cadre products to install when using the MIP batch tool. Dash target performs a cadre installation to all cadre products to the target location specified in .dir. Dash dongle installs the dongle driver as part of the batch install. There are a few examples below. During a standard cater installation, we have added the ability to install the dongle drivers during the installation. If you choose not to install during the installation, please note that we are copying them to the MGLS dongle directory. Please note the dongle driver install option will not be displayed if installing Cadre on a Windows 10 version 2004 or newer. See below for documented Microsoft Issue and Support Center. We have added support for Japanese and Korean text with some of the figure symbols. 
You can now enter Japanese or Korean text while inserting a delta, a balloon, split balloon, or surface figure symbols. When Cater prompts you for text input, press F4 to open the IME window and then input Japanese or Korean text using either a Cater font or a TrueType font that has been supported for the Japanese owned Korean machines. We have grayed out non-programmable buttons in the Auto Geometry Layout Display. Those buttons are Escape, Print Screen, NumLock, Cap Lock. We have verified Cater in the cloud environment. Cater was pre-tested in an Amazon EC2 AWS cloud environment. Cater 26 is not qualified in the cloud, but should be at a later release. It is unsupported at this time. Running Cater in this environment is done at your own risk. With that being said, a global float license is needed to run Cater in a cloud environment. All client VMs need to be in the cloud as well as the VM license server. The Cater team is not qualified IT professionals and are unable to assist in the setup of any operating system, network, or client in the cloud environment. Additionally, FlexNet Publisher does not support the following for cloud licensing. Cross version signatures on serve no lock license clients, composite host IDs using Amazon machine bindings, and three server redundancies. If you would like more information on the cloud environment, please see chapter 16, licensing in the cloud computing environment in the FlexNet license administration guide, which is located in the Mentor Graphics licensing directory. We now support Spaceplane version 2020 R2 and SolidWorks version 2021 Service Pack 5. We support AutoCAD versions 2020 Read and Write and AutoCAD 2021 Read. This concludes the What's New in Cater 26 video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your new version.